Hi, I'm Paul from Deutsche Auto Parts, your source for everything VW and Audi. Today we're going to be going over installing grills on a Mark 7 GTI. So here we have the two grills we're going to be discussing today. Here we have the GTD grill that we're going to be installing on our vehicle. And then behind it we have the US spec lighting package grill for cars with xenon headlights. Now the main difference between a xenon headlight grill and a halogen headlight grill is the height of this stripe that runs across the front of the grill. Now on a xenon headlight car, there's a red stripe in the headlight itself. So this stripe will follow all the way through. If you have a halogen one, in a xenon car it'll be it won't line up correctly so that's true for both the oem xenon headlights and the helix headlights both of them are going to need a grill swap for everything to line up properly we'll have links to these products in the description below and a link to our install of the helix headlights at the end of this video okay for this grill installation it's very very easy all we do is start by removing our two t25 torque screws And then we can just pull the grill outwards and it just pops out from the top and then this slides up. Now we're gonna swap over the GTI logo because we have the GTD grill. So all we're gonna do is flip it over and release the tabs that hold it on the back. So here we are on the back side of the, the GTI grill and we just wanna show you real quick how to release this emblem to swap over from one grill to the other. There are tabs here, there are four of them total. And what you have here is it's a tension fit. So you're gonna push forward. And while, while you're doing that, you go from underneath the grill and kind of pull down on the front of the emblem. And so as you push these in, it'll release forward. And then you can pop your emblem out. And there we have our GTI logo. And then we do the same thing with the GTD grill. I'm gonna kind of put tension on the emblem, pop the tabs, and then release it. And you remove your logo. And just to show you what it looks like without the logo, it's not very pretty, so you do need to swap the logo over. And all you do is snap that in place, make sure that you hear the tabs latch in and your GTI logo is not gonna fall off. And now we can reinstall our grill, which is real simple. All you do is make sure the guides all line up. And then you can pop it down. And then forward into the radiator support. Now we're installed. All we have to do is put our screws in. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and leave any questions, ideas, or feedback in the comments below.